Hello and welcome to another video on removing distractions. Uh, this one is going to be using the patch tool in Photoshop. A quick thanks to Alvin for supplying this uh, lovely picture. Um, and so without further ado, just jumping in. So we, again, we have all our tools on the left hand side and the patch tool is sometimes a little bit hidden, but it's in the same area where you find the spot healing brush and it's just down here. So click on the patch tool, which looks like a little patch. And what we're going to do here is use the patch tool to remove these white blinds. So if I zoom in, you can zoom in either by using this zoom tool, clicking in, if you press option or click out, or I use it a bit like on a, an iPhone screen um, on the mouse mat, on the keypad, just spreading your fingers wide or narrow. And so click on the patch tool. And if I hold down option, it will draw it in straight lines. A bit like with the lasso tool in my previous video. And then you click on it and move it across so I can move it. Use anything I want. Obviously, I want it to look like the other window. And that's that one done. And if I do it again, this time I'll just draw it freehand, which is a little bit harder. I can then press the option key. Makes it easier. Suggest you just have a play with it. Complete it. Click on, move it across. And there you go. And obviously I'd then do the same down here. Move it across. Just doing it very quickly, but shows that the, uh, the results you can get very, very fast. So you just click around the subject, which creates the patch, you move it over, and then it does a really good job and just zoom out. And there you have it. And so I've got the patch tool, content aware selected, the structure set to five, color on zero. And that's it really, a uh, very simple way of using the patch tool. And I've used this, it can be good for, for example, moving footprints from the sand or snow. Um, but uh, there are different situations where it will work really nicely. And uh, this is a good example of, of where it works very well indeed. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that shows you very well how to use that particular tool in Photoshop. I uh, hope you like the video. Please like, uh, subscribe if you wish, um, and any comments gratefully accepted. Thank you.